Hello everybody, welcome back to Zoe Bad Blood Collectibles, welcome to my channel, it's been an amazing week, I've been able to get a figure almost every single day, I find something new, or every other day, and it's the figures that you don't really see uh, on the market because they are sold out, even if you go on, uh, wherever you go, these figures are sold out, and you can't really find them anywhere, you probably have to order online, probably for a greater price. But man, did I get lucky. The toy god blessed me. And I was able to go to my comic book store, my local comic book store, uh, for co colors, fantasy. It's my comic book store that I go to. Here we go, Rancho Cucamon, California, baby. Here we go. Yes. And uh, I was walking there and I was looking around. They get figures every Wednesday. They get something new. They throw it on there, especially my Farland figures. And Marvel Legend figures. So I was just walking in there and I saw a lot of the new Black Panther movie. I even saw Black Panther, that the comic book version of one of them. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Marvel Legends, but I do get some of their figures. When, I, when it comes to Marvel, I usually get the Diamond Select figures. So, with that being said, I saw this sitting on the shelf, one left, buried behind everything like someone was trying to hide it to come back and get it and I just grabbed it up and immediately I just held it in my hand because I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy it because I was like man I was like look how much this thing is $77.99 for these two figures with this horrible looking box that it came in now one thing I do want to uh, complain about gripe about is I hate the way that Marvel Legends did their box. You can't see, there's no more uh, plastic window. All you see is just a box with the figures inside wrapped up in uh, some kind of wrapping paper. And I did not like that at all. And it came with cardboard. Like, this is more wasting trees, wasting money, more than just having the regular boxes that they had at first. So I did not like that, like this box at all. But with that being said, to have these two, I was debating, uh, debating should I get it or not because, man, 80 bucks, I don't know. Not for Marvel Legends, like, I'm not a big fan like that. I would get some of the figures, like, the Iron Man bad guy, I think Iron Monger, whatever his name is. I did get that one. That was a two-pack with the guy and the armor suit. But, okay, I can understand it. 80 bucks, I still, well, not understand it completely, but, alright, but I still got it because, to me, that figure was worth it. I was already collecting the TK Toys versions of Iron Man. And I love TK Toys. The way they've been doing their style with Iron Man and War Machine. So I think I'm going to get a Spider-Man as well from uh, T uh, TK Toys. But back to the Marvel Legends, Null and Venom. These two are really great figures. And the reason why I really wanted it, well, two reasons. One, I want the original Venom. The one in the cartoon, the one that reminds me of the cartoon back in the day in the 90s when I was a kid. Um, the, I used to watch the Spider-Man cartoon all the time and Venom was like one of the best villains on Spider-Man, uh, the cartoon back in the day. And then when they came out with the game on, I think that was Sega Genesis or Nintendo. I think it was Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah, the game was called Maximum Carnage, Spider-Man Maximum Carnage, and that game was just like the best Spider-Man game ever that I liked as a kid. It was one of my favorite games. So anyways, this dude looks great. He comes with his wings, and I really got it because of not only just because I wanted the original uh, Venom, but also the wings. The wings remind me so much of NECA Gargoyles. I just did a review on that. You can check my video out. Uh, with Hansen and all the others. I'm going to do single uh, videos of all my NECA figures with the Gargoyles issues. But I do have one complaint about uh, Venom's wings. Fooling around with it a little bit. The wings do, they, are, they do get stuck. I mean, they do get really loose really fast. So, like, I'm glad these things are not like toys. These are more collectible. So you're going to set them up like that. You might want to put some paper in there or something in there that's going to keep that thing stable. The wings stable in there because it's easily, they do easily come apart. Null, on the other hand, man, this dude, I saw a video on D Amazing. He did the review on these guys. 
And there was a whole lot of people who did reviews on these, so I'm not going to go that far into debt with the reviews. I mean, with the as far as reviewing the, reviewing the figures, but I'm just letting you know from my experience how I feel about Marvel Legends and, these, and this two-pack right here. But man, this is just great. No, like, freaking amazing. They did an awesome job with them. And what I like about these two the most is for the fact that they are uh, the 7 inch, now you're over 7 inch tall. And I collect 7 inch line and ba and basically just the 7 inch line. That's why I collect Diamond Select. It's because I like to do uh, 7 inch only. Marvel Legends, their figures are 6 inches. A lot of people like that. I, I don't really like that. So that's not my style. If that's your style, good luck to you. But to me, I prefer McFarlane's 7 inch line and NECA's 7 inch line. And some of the figures that Marvel Legends do bring out that are 7 inch and taller, I do get. I do get them. And this dude's like 8 inches tall, Noel is. And he's taller than Venom. Venom's a tall guy too. Venom is 7.5 inches tall. But and for Marvel Legends, that's super tall for them. But here, it's still like tall for the 7 inch line as well. But Noel just looks super amazing. He looks great. I love for the fact that they, how they did his face. And I love for the fact that he came with two faces. I mean, two head sculpts. This is the second one right here. The one where he's where he shows his teeth. And this dude just looked crazy. Now, this dude was also a god slayer. He killed some of the Celestials. And he also is, like, super powerful with his sword. He's more powerful than Venom and all of them. And uh, he also come with a sword that he forms out of darkness because he was in darkness. And when light came to the earth, uh, he formed, he got even more powerful and was able to form a sword, I think. I'm not sure. I did do a look up on this guy, so I'm like 99% accurate. But it's up to you. You can go do your research as well. On the other hand, Venom comes with his head, his, they say, a cheese smell. And it looks great. And I like it because it reminds me so much of the old days when I was a kid. And I also like for the fact that they did his hands this way. Then he comes with two two of these open hands. One I got on. And the other hand I got a closed fist. But I love for the fact that they put his webbing right there. Where his web come out. And I wish they could have made the movie like they did with the figure. And uh, just have his original Venom suit, man. Like... The movie would have been so much better if it just would stick to the original plot. Stick to the original suit. I love the way that Venom suit was. That's what made him Venom, was the suit. I do have another Venom. I'm going to go get him. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got my Venom, and I also got my TK Toys Iron Man that we're going to be comparing with both of these figures today. And uh, yeah, like I said, these dudes are 7 inch tall, so it's a blessing for me because that's what I love right here. And uh, just looking at Venom, uh, and looking at the old one that I have, the movie Venom... This Venom is way better than the movie Venom. I'm telling you guys. I'm taking this guy out the box right now. I don't know the last time I took this guy. It's been a while. I think I only opened him up once. And yes, his head does fit on the original one as well. But i let you decide. Now his body is the same sculpt as the movie version. And then um, and I'm about to show you a little comparisons to that right now. Because I'm about to put him on there. And the movie version is not bad either, but I think I'm going to use this guy more of a henchman for Null. Like, he'll be a, like a servant to Null. And there's the Venom, the movie version of Venom. Now, I'll let you decide which one is better. I'll move Null out the way. Now, they both have the same feet. A lot of, I saw online, a lot of people didn't like that. And another thing I didn't like about the movie version is that they don't come with peg holes. I don't know if Marvel Legends do or no, or or do or don't but um just putting these two side by side this venom kills this one to me the details better he has that that just that nice look and tone and, he's, and look he's a little bit more shinier than 
uh, the movie version. But look at the head, the eyes. I love for the fact that his eyes are big on this Venom. Even on this one, his eyes are actually big. And that's the way Venom's supposed to look. This one looks more sleek. And he don't look as bad. He just look like... Uh, almost like the Spider-Man Venom from uh, the Spider-Man 3 movie. Up here in the head. But here, this just looked great. Look at his eyes. And this is the way they should have made the movie was the same. They should have kept him with his big teeth like that. Instead of making it all small like they did with this one. So... I had a lot of gripes and complain with this Venom, even though this Venom is still a, is an amazing figure, and I like this Venom. So, and they did a really good job, but I just think they should have just, from the movie part, just made him an original Venom. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go over Venom since I already have him in hand. But, look at the wings, guys. The wingspan is just huge. That's his wingspan right there. Look at that. So, uh, you're going to need a lot of space in order to pose this guy, even if you want to put it on top of your shelf. I'm just letting you know, you're going to need a lot of space. So, same thing with articulation with the old figure. And then, you can see right here on his wings, the detail on his wings are really, really good. You see um, striations in his cape, also holes in there. And then also, this is what I'm talking about right here. These two, these things do come apart. So... But good thing about him is that he does stand, so that's a good thing too. But that will come apart if you fall around with it a lot. So when you're taking pictures or photography, when you're doing this guy, just be careful and know that there's a good chance that he will fall. But the good thing is that he does stand, and that is a good thing. Now, I'm not going to go over his articulation. I think I said that for the third time because everyone already did a review on this guy, so I'm not going to really review him like that. I'm just doing an overall review on them. Also, no, no, it's just straight out, just sweet. And uh, I just love the way he look. I like this head sculpt better because he just looks so much mean. Imagine him just coming out and just looking at all the guys and they just looking at him. And he's about to do some slaying. And uh, this here was, was the head that was sitting off. And then... This is his other head right here, where he's smiling at. This one looks crazy, so when you're fighting with him, and he's like, got the upper hand, and you're taking pictures, and you have him in a scene where he's just fighting people, I think you might want to go with this face right here, because this face looks awesome. I'm trying to fix the camera so you can see it, because he's kind of tall. And uh, But yeah, look at that, guys. This dude is just looks crazy. And there he is looking up. He just looked crazy standing next to Venom. This is a must-have if you're a Marvel fan. I heard that these two are hard to get items and highly sought, but very hard to find. And um, I've been when I saw the video on D Amazing, I was like, man, I gotta get these figures. But I like, I'll get it if I see it. If I don't see it, I'm not gonna really care if I have it or not. But man, I just got blessed by the toy gods and was able to get this guy. This guy also have an app crunch. And they did it pretty good right here. And I love for the fact that they do his app crunch like that. So that's not bad. And this dude, for a posable figure, is pretty cool. Only I don't like is for the fact that his legs don't go out that far. They do go sideways, but not that far either. They do go back, but not that far at all because of uh, his skirt that he has on him. But overall, guys, man, this figure is amazing. I can't wait to take pictures. I just got my waterfall from my mother-in-law. And it just goes perfect with my uh, with what I got right here, my little setup that I'm going to take with pictures. And I just can't wait to do some really good photography with these two. I think I'm going to have a blast. I'm going to do a little size comparison real quick. And right now, I'm going to bring up my TK Toys Iron Man. The first one from the movie, this is my, to me, even though I, I like the Infinity War one, I think this one was probably one of my uh, best ones right here. Fix the camera a little bit so we'll be able to see it. And uh, I just love this one because this was the original and I love the scene when he went into the desert and was just tearing everybody up. I think that was the best scene ever. And there he is right here standing next to Noel. And Venom, in front of Venom, next to Noel. 
It's just to show you, this is a seven inch figure and that's how tall Noel is. Look at tall Noel is compared to Iron Man. Now guys, come on. That is just plain out just sweet with Marvel, what Marvel Legend did. A lot of people don't care for the figure. I do. I love this figure and I love my Venom figure. I'm glad I got them both. I know they're going to be worth money. And I don't think I'm going to sell these figures. But yeah, so that's him next to these two. And that's basically how my 7 inch line is going to look. I do have my... Uh, I wanted to bring out another figure, but I think it might be too hard to go get. But if you could just bear with me for one second, I'm going to bring out my Scarlet Witch figure from Dinah Select because I really love that figure. Diamond Select did a really good job with the uh, Marvel line, as far as with the movie line. Uh, with Scarlet Witch, I didn't really like Doc, the way they made Doctor Strange. But Wanda, uh, in her original suit for the movie, it looks pretty sweet. And she looks good also with, uh, with these two. And I love her articulations. Uh, I think Diamond Select did a really good job. I'm going to move Iron Man out the way. You know, I'm going to put her up here. And look how tall Noel is compared to her. She's also 7 inch. And look at her compared to Venom. Venom is still tall. And you can add these together. All these you can add together. So imagine having a team up with uh, all these guys going against. If you have all the Marvel Diamond Select, all the Avengers, you have them going against Noel and Venom and then the movie Venom version just having like a little scene somehow some way I think that would be dope and then that would be like just sweet but looking at these figures together with my diamond select I'm like really happy I didn't pass these up I kept asking myself are these figures worth the price and a lot of people I see a lot of people in different uh, videos and reviews and they were asking like man the price I don't know about the price with me if you have the money get it if you don't it's up to you but it was a must have for me when I actually saw it. I was like debating on it like man I know I ain't gonna never see these figures no more so I might as well just go ahead and get them I did have to bite a little bit because I was like ah oh, man 80 bucks it's going out the drain could have used that 80 bucks for something else but I end up getting it and I'm glad I got it because I love it and it goes good with my Marvel uh, Select uh, Diamond Select uh, toys so but yeah look at that guys and look at real quick just Scarlet Witch just look great and she also looked good standing next with Noel and imagine her teaming up with Noel they would be like the unstoppable unstoppable of the unstoppables so there we go right there guys Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of uh, these two figures. Uh, is it worth the price? I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear your experience with Marvel Legends. I'm not a big fan, but when I see figures like these that are tall, I do get them. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you want to see me review other different uh, other uh, lines or different different things just let me know hit me up in the comment section below uh like and subscribe guys come on help promote the channel help me get to at least a thousand subscribers that's all i ask for right now just like subscribe comment in the section below because i love talking about collections and i love talking to collectors i also ran into a buddy of mine uh and turned him into a toy collector now he's collecting but I did tell them about some of the gripes, like when you when you do your pre-orders, be careful because some of these pre-orders they're just taking your money, borrowing it, and they'll get back to you a year later. So just be careful on that, folks. And adios.